And everyone lived happily ever after. Or did they? Because if you turn on the evening news, America still seems like a pretty scary place. Who is he? Is he dangerous? Who are What's you he up to? What are you trying to pull, man? Why are people scared? Remember all the Y2K scares? Weren't we told that our very society was about to collapse because somebody forgot to type in a couple of digits on the computer? There's gonna be mass chaos and confusion. Tonight, the countdown begins. All day, store director Rick Smith watched consumers get Y2K ready. Batteries sell extremely well, the lamp oil, uh, generators. After sending the country into a panic, the clock struck midnight and nothing happened. Or how about those killer bees that were going to attack America? We're almost certain they'll arrive this year. Schmidt expects the Africanized bees to reach Texas this year, cross into Arizona in about two to three years. He's concerned because the killer bee is overly aggressive. They will follow you for oh, half a mile. The bees never came. Remember the first time you heard that someone had hidden a razor blade in an apple at Halloween? Before long, kids were not permitted to go out in the dark on Halloween and go trick-or-treating at strangers' homes. A lot of people say they won't give out candy treats on Halloween. It's too dangerous, and they're too scared. Well, guess what? There never was any razor blade in the apple. In fact, only two kids in the past 40 years have been killed by Halloween candy, and both of them were poisoned on purpose by relatives. It was like a scene from a horror movie. This hooks at man was mowing his lawn when a fox darted out of the woods and attacked his riding mower. A warning about a popular weight loss supplement. What you don't know may kill you. You ride them every day, but in an instant, an escalator can mangle you or a loved one. Seven on your side reveals why you may be riding a stairway to danger. You might want to take some extra precautions. Keep a low profile. Don't go around dancing with a bunch of Americans in the streets. Uh, make sure that you don't draw a lot of attention to yourself and the fact that you're an American. The nation's top doctor says one in five Americans suffer some form of mental disorder. The Surgeon General David Satcher pleads with people to seek help now. The media, the corporations, the politicians, have all done such a good job of scaring the American public, it's come to the point where they don't need to give any reason at all. Today, the Justice Department did, did issue a, a blanket alert. It was in recognition of a general threat we received. Uh, this is not the first time the Justice Department have acted like this. I, I hope it's the last. But given the attitude of the evildoers, it may not be. My favorite statistic in all the research I did discovered that the murder rate had gone down by 20%. The coverage, that is how many murders are on the, t on the evening news, it went up by 600%. The American people are, are conditioned by network TV, by local news, to believe that their communities are much more dangerous than they actually are. Uh, for example, here in this community, crime has decreased every year for the past eight years, yet gun ownership, uh, particularly handgun ownership, is on the increase. Crime rates have been dropping, dropping, dropping. Fear of crime has been going up, up, up. How can that be possible? It doesn't make any sense. And it, but it makes perfect sense when you see what we're hearing from politicians and seeing on, in the news media.